Good afternoon. Uh, we are in MA second semester creative nonfiction class. It's uh, March the 18th? 19th. 19th. March 19th, Tuesday, 2024. And we are going to read an essay. What do they say? Immigration problem is about us, not them. And one of our students is presenting. Say, Sujata, can you clip it if you can? Let's read it. 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 Okay, go on. Okay, uh, hello, everyone. This is Sujata going to present on an article, uh, Immigration Problem is About Us, Not Them, by Joe and Pilardi. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank to Divakar, sir, for letting me this precious chance to present in front of you all. Now, let's move into our topic. Immigration Problem is About Us, Not Them. Uh, it is a sing, uh, whole sentence uh, uh, title, uh, and it was uh, an article published in uh, the newspaper called Baltimore Sun. It was published as op-ed, op-ed means opposite of editorial page. It is uh, basically written by a professional journalist, but uh, it is not written by journalist. Uh, it is written by one of the professor or one of the reader of the newspaper, Baltimore Sun. She is also a journalist. Oh. Uh, Anne Pilardi is also uh, a well-known journalist mm. who reported about... German or I don't know much about it. Go on. Go on. Oh, okay, sir. Thank you. Go on. Uh, she is also uh, a professor at... Uh, Mm, uh, the university, I uh, googled and found that Towson University in Maryland. And uh, uh, let's start reading from first paragraph. Let me read out it. Uh, the immigration debates always focus on small brown bodies, jumping fences, and scooting through the brush of our southwestern streets. The, in the very first paragraph, she starts uh, the article uh, in descriptive mode. And uh, she quints her um, term for the immigrants here, small brown bodies. That uh, brown bodies refers to the person who are seeking for their secure future. So circle the phrase, the small brown bodies. bodies. So yes. you can see the immigrants are non-white people. The immigrants are uh, non-white non -white people. people. Yes. And uh, next one is, um, you can look at the um, title of this, uh, topic of this article. Immigration problem is about us, not them. Us means uh, the writer is also an uh, American citizen. And uh, she is raising the voice uh, of the um, immigrants. And uh, she is... Uh, uh, talking about the uh, problem that immigrants are facing in America. So people argue that in the uh, issue of immigration, immigrants are the problem. And she says that no, immigrants are not the problem. We the Americans are the problem. Yes. And then she explains how it's not about the immigrants coming to America, but it's the Americans who hire immigrants, who give employment to them. Go on, go on. Okay. Uh, let's move to the next paragraph. Our self-righteous anger at those brown bodies is fueled by our narrow use of the word, word illegal, a term reserved only for those immigrant workers. It aren't other 
aren't there other illegals hiding in the American underbrush and isn't it time to add to the American immigration lexicon a new term? And uh, she has a reservation uh, in the term illegal for only uh, the immigrants, the people use. And uh, she it's says not that only not only immigrants who are doing something illegal. Yes. The Americans are also doing something illegal. Yes. Oh. As and the second paragraph, uh, she switches into, uh, into narrative more. Uh, and uh, let's move ahead. Uh, but where are those other illegals? Uh, the illegal employers of the illegal workers. Let's call them illegal native employers. These INEs run the gamut from executives of hotel chains to presidents of agribusiness uh, corporations in California, from nanny employing parents to restaurant owners, from um, contractors to employment agencies. And let's not forget. Uh, as in, and let's not forget the INEs who own uh, huge chicken processing plants. Then uh, in this paragraph, uh, sequence another uh, illegal, illegal native, native employers. employers. Illegal native employers. She calls the Native Americans uh, that uh, employers also, um, they are illegal because uh, although they know that uh, immigrants are illegal work, they are uh, employing illegal workers. And they only take benefit from them, but uh, they are not ready to uh, be known as illegal themselves. Okay? Uh, this is our argument here. I uh, need. Okay. Uh, where are the TV news videotapes of those illegals? And uh, she here talks about the medias also. And uh, she says that uh, if you are exposing uh, the immigrants, also expose those employers the media, who are hiding. The media is biased. Yes. It reports about immigrants, but it never reports about the illegal, illegal. employers. Yes. Hmm. Uh, let's film them as they leave their homes and arrive at their corporate headquarters, their law offices, their retail establishment, their hotels, their construction sites. Do we dare humiliate them with our cameras and call them felons? See here, ask questions. A person accused of a crime, typically one involving violence, regarded as more serious than a um, misdemeanor and usually punishable by imprisonment for felony more than one year felony. or by death. The meaning felony. of felony. felony. Yes. And, uh, her main argument is, if you are uh, exposing uh, the illegal workers, also expose the illegal employers. <clears throat> and then, I'd like to see the minute man in... Um, I have written the meanings in the bracket. Yes. See them. When I prepare I'll the read class, from there. I have meanings mm. of words. So, in my soft copy, you will find meanings of the words also. Okay, let me read out from my book. Uh, which paragraph is this? Page 3 to 6. Oh. Uh, where are the TV news videotapes of those illegals? Let's film them as they leave their homes and arrive at their corporate headquarters, their law offices, their retail establishments, their hotels, their construction sites. Do we dare humiliate them with our cameras and call them felons? As we have already described this paragraph. I'd like to see the minute man set up a chapter far from the Arizona border and patrol Wall Street binoculars in hand to set their sights on those illegals, brokers selling stocks for INE companies. And to see here talks about uh, the um, People who are uh, working as uh, brokers, they sell the uh, workers for the INE companies. Uh, now let's move to paragraph six. 
Let's build fences outside the INE businesses to separate and stigmatize them. Maybe the National Guards will patrol those fences not to worry, though because President Bush assures us the troops will not be militarized. And uh, at the time the, this article was published, uh, Judge W. Bush was president in USC. And uh, also the president... And Joe Pillar is doing. Uh, uh, if you see, this our major argument is that uh, if you draw a line like this and then make two columns and write immigrants and then write illegal native inquiries. And our major argument is that for the immigration problem, we focus only on immigrants. We blame them, we talk about them. But we never talk about the illegal native inquiries. If if uh, native uh, employers, native companies do not illegally hire immigrants, immigrants will not come to America. Sure. Immigrants are more and more encouraged to enter America anyhow. As the Bakar Dimana Gadi, the Gangi Jana Bai Chai, Tinchuti, America, the Chosaman Laga, Pagarai, Totu products come in America as well as she is again. In America, she is a good person. 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 She is a Parents were happy, religious happy, everybody is happy. Facebook, where was your poly for a bitch? Story Mari, what did you get? I'm sure what I did. All of us announced it. This is the children of the Kiri Pussy, the Matil Nari, Bishop's kitchen, a pretty American children of Saki Ude, going to job by himself for the life of him. How job called it? Native people. Our job is not to do So since saying that, people from around the world are tempted to enter America illegally because Americans are giving them jobs illegally. So rather than arresting immigrants, rather than examining immigrants, rather than putting your binoculars on immigrants, come to Wall Street Journal and report on these companies, go to every hotel, go to every restaurant and check with the camera. Who is employing illegal people and then take action against them? But that's not happening. We are not blaming employers. We are blaming only employees. And she says that this is a wrong approach. Yes, sir. Uh, no, no, no doubt these suggestions make us square that uh, she feels ashamed of being. <laughs> They will be able to see. Oh, yeah. oh, yes. no, no doubt. doubt these suggestions make us squirm. Maybe that's because many of these illegals are us or our friends or relatives. If 12 oh, million undocumented many of workers these are, are us, our friends, or relatives. relatives. So we don't write about them. We write only about the black brown bodies. Mm -hmm. Employed here, thousands of employers must be signing their paychecks. Mm -hmm. Now she talks. Uh, now here she talks about uh, the employers who give uh, job to the illegal workers. Mm -hmm. And uh, if the 12 million undocumented workers are there, there there might be thousands of uh, uh, employers also. But uh, people do not uh, talk about them. The they law, only focus. The law prevents you from hiring any illegal fellow. Now, if he gets in America illegally, and I am a restaurant owner, and I know his illegal status, and I give him job because he agrees to work at a cheaper price. Yes. Right? If he is legal, I have to pay, let's say, $50 an hour, let's say, then he will work up $5 an hour. So I will hire this illegal immigrant because he is 10 times cheaper. Now the argument is that police comes and arrests the worker. 
But police should arrest me also because I hired him illegally. So I'm also equally to be blamed. That's the point. Yes. Uh, if 12 million undocumented workers toil in this country as construction workers, gardeners, housekeepers, nannies, uh, agricultural workers, food pro processors, then thousands of business owners, homeowners, politicians, and government officials uh, condone or welcome their work and uh, look the other way at their illegal status. Mm -hmm. They only take benefit from the illegal workers. Uh, but uh, they know don't. that they are illegal. They know that it's not legal to have them. Yes. Mm. Mm. Uh, now, let's move to another paragraph. Many of our political leaders stuck a hard be about. Immigration reform. A uh, hard line about immigration reform, even though they know our country is mired in its demand for the immigrant workforce. workforce. We use and exploit the labor of these millions every day. In doing we so, we use and exploit the labor. Sir. Exploit the labor of these millions every day. Uh, in doing so, we also weaken the wages, benefits, and organizing power of all our workers. Uh, in this line, she talks about that uh, people are hiring uh, illegal immigrants in uh, low wages, but uh, uh, those who are um, capable, uh, who are Native Americans, they uh, cannot get job because of this illegal policy. Uh, now, next uh, paragraph 10, I think, 10 or 9. Mm, okay. Uh, the Senate voted 62, uh, it might be uh, 36 or uh, 63. 62 against? Is it 63 in the book? No, sir. 30, but 36. I think 36. 36. Is it correct? 32 against 36. Oh, 62 against uh, 62 against 36. 36. Yes. To approve its version of an immigration bill with uh, most uh, GOP so senators. GOP. Yes. Uh, Opposing it, a battle with the more conservative House over its more voices bill begins shortly. Evidently, the Senate version includes most of the so-called as it jobs bill, uh, which has uh, languished for years under the Bush administration and which has been supported in the past by the United Farm Workers. Mm. Let me explain it. Uh, see here uh, argues that instead of the government focusing on the employers who are hiring the undocumented immigrants, they are shifting their attention on the amnesty bill. The government is planning to give those illegals that have stayed in the U.S. at least two years or maximum of 11 years probationary period before returning uh, them to their home country. It is uh, in uh, the next paragraph. Okay. Paragraph 11. Uh, immigrants in the United States for two or five years would be put into a temporary worker program. Those here longer would be eligible for citizenship after an 11 year probationary period, is it their obs observation period? Uh, they're testing something, skill test like that, maybe. With other criteria also to be met. And the conservative describes the bill as amnesty for undocumented workers. So once again, virtually all of the media attention centers the, on the workers, not uh, the employers. Uh, this, uh, up to this line, I've already explained in uh, the previous one. Uh, this is not the first time, nor will it be the last, that workers have come across the southern border in great numbers to make a living and to contribute uh, to the U.S. economy. We need to create a fair immigration program for those uh, who want to stay, not uh, one that separates them by creating a national caste system of guest workers. Europeans have learned the hard way that guest worker programs lead to further national divisions and uh, to violence. Okay. Uh, as all, if we talk uh, 
about this uh, article. This is all about the uh, situation of immigrants in USA. And uh, many people have that, many people think that uh, America is a dream country. And uh, many Nepalese are also going there by illegal way, by walking. And uh, mm -hmm. one of my far relatives also um, has gone there, but uh, not at rich there. Uh, he has spent almost uh, uh, 90 lakhs to the broker for that. But uh, uh, it's all, all, almost uh, two months, uh, but uh, he's still not rich there. Mm. <laughs> Which line I have just read? Uh, paragraph. But whatever we do, we should stop thinking the problem is just about securing our borders from them. The migration problem is fundamentally a demand for cheap labor for a supply to fill our demand. Yeah, uh, the, yes. The immigration problem is yeah. a demand, demand for, for cheap, cheap labor. labor. Yes. If American employers, American companies, keep on demanding cheap labors, more and more people will enter America legally or illegally. So the problem is not with them. The problem is with us because we look for cheap labor. Cheap labor, yes. Cheap labor. But uh, whatever, sorry. Supply to fill out. No, uh, and the last paragraph she brings reference from Max Fitz, a Swiss novelist, uh, who talked about uh, labor was called, but it was people who came. Uh, they just wanted labor, okay, but uh, they have to face uh, the problem with the people there. They just uh, their their main concern is about working, not about the people. That's why they don't. Uh, uh, treat them as a human being. They only take benefit from them. This the moral, economic, and political problem is not the immigrants' problem. It's ours. I hope we have the courage to solve it humanly. And the last paragraph, uh, she talks. Uh, he, she has the hope that uh, with this uh, um, work of writing, uh, she tries to change the policy of the American government towards the immigrants. Okay, so it's a small text. Um, Marx gets only the, the issue is about immigration. Yes. The immigrants, I mean. Uh, it's about American immigrants, people who illegally enter, enter America. America. Yes. And the writer's argument is that the problem is not about immigrants. The problem, problem is, is about, about illegal native employers. employers because these illegal native employers they seek cheap labor mm -hmm. they want cheap labor it's in the word cheap keep in mind not just labor cheap labor cheap. and because americans won't work for cheaper labor illegal people will work cheaper labor so they hire these immigrants rather than hiring the people, Native Americans, right, or that's Americans. That's why more and more illegal people are encouraged to get in America. Yeah, yeah. For example, less than half. If you pay twenty dollars for legal workers, you can find illegal workers working for five dollars, mm -hmm. two dollars, even three dollars. That's all. Anything you want to say? No, sir. That's, that's all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you, everyone. Though it was not good presentation. <laughs> Every presentation is good. Thank you.